Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, EQA Nostalgia here, and today I have some absolutely heartbreaking, world-shaking news. I have been banned from the H Hour Steam forums, and it's it's got me reconsidering my life choices, you know. I'm just, I'm so awestruck by it that my very existence is now in question. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself, guys. I mean... I, I, I got a, a, a bottle of pills over here and I'm just, you know, I'm contemplating on maybe just taking the whole bottle because my life's been for naught if I got banned from, from this forum. I mean, I just don't know what to do, guys. And, um, I mean, uh, I don't want to, like, have a breakdown right now, but, you know, it was just a checked and it's a permanent ban and I'm just, it's just, you know, I just don't give a fuck. Not one flying fuck. Not a single fuck is given. I promise you. If there were a bunch of red-headed orphans outside right now on my doorstep dying of starvation, begging for a fuck to be given, I still wouldn't give one. Because here's the thing. When you have a place that is completely biased and only nut-juggling, sack-sniffing, SOF shills are allowed to post their opinion without criticism, without people berating you, without people trying to, to discredit you, locking your forum, moving your forum into places where other people can't see and banning you. That's not the kind of fucking place I want to hang out. And, you know, you might be asking yourself, Gee, uh, EQA Nostalgia, how did, it, uh, how did it escalate so quickly over there? Well... Here's how it escalated, and it's pretty fucking pathetic to understand how it all began. Why, I, I suppose you'd have to go back to the very beginning. See, I posted my opinions about the overpriced nature of the game and my concerns about the overhyped and overinflated positive reviews. But gee, you know, those nut hugging sort over there, they didn't take too kind to my criticism, no, sir. In fact, you might say that I was just downright trolled and, and berated for my thoughts. So yeah, I was uh, was pretty much trolled nonstop. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put the whole thing up there. I mean, I'm just putting the snippets up. You guys are more than welcome to check it out. I will link it in the description so you can check it out and see what all went down. But I tried to remain civil with these guys, and and everything that I've ever posted over there just gets trolled. And, and and berated and you know you know the deal they were just all over it i just think it's really fucking sad when nobody can say anything critical and i'm not even saying the game sucks i'm not saying that i never said that once i never said don't buy this game it sucks i never said anything like that i've just told people you know i don't think it's worth the price i think they're asking for too much i think it's going to fail i've posted concerns about the future of the game because i give a fuck while well, i gave a fuck about it but because of all the pushback i've gotten from the moderators and the fucking nut huggers i don't even care anymore i was one of the only people that actually gave a fuck anymore that was outside of the original nut hugger crew okay i'm one of the only people who spoke up and said anything to try and help these fucking morons because you don't charge $25 for a game with two maps, two game modes, no voice chat, and uh, several other issues. And and everybody just keeps saying, oh, well, you never play the game. I don't have to play the fucking game. I don't know why this is an issue. <laughs> I don't have to play it to see that it's not ready and that it wasn't ready. And that $25 is too much and it's going to turn away potential customers. And posting reviews that are overinflated, 10 out of 10, amazing game, this is such an amazing game. If someone sees that and then they go and buy it and they play it and it's nothing like that, what kind of fucking review do you think they're going to leave? They're not going to leave a very nice review. They're going to say, well, I was misled, this community is full of shit, do not buy this game. They're going to have buyer's remorse, that's what that's called, Okay. You don't fucking hype something up like that. And that was my concern. And man, they just they, they dove on me like a pack of fucking rabid dogs. So after that was locked, I got pissed off. And I posted another post saying, Beware, constructive criticism, criticism will not be tolerated. And I will read this one out loud. Posting any sort of criticism here is a sure way to guarantee your thread 
will be trolled and locked. I've posted two critical threads here, and one was moved into an obscure location no one bothers to read in attempt to silence me. And that is the truth. No one reads that fucking sub-forum. Nobody cares about it. That's they, In a very sly way, they moved it over there. Another thread was locked due to the behavior of other users, like the fucking douchebag that you just saw on screen and the one before him. I never swore I never said anything nasty. The behavior of, instead of those users being muted, the thread was locked. I've actually had other users on here follow me into reviews for completely different games and continue to troll. Evidence of which is below. Good luck finding a genuine opinion here. And obviously I posted an image of the fucking douchebag that's following me around now. So this fucking clown went to my H1Z1 review, which was a positive review because I do enjoy the game, and he left this shit. <laughs> And it makes me wonder what other kind of shit he's going to do if he's going to follow me around. The The point is, is they fucking banned me for being completely civil, voicing my concerns, but fucking clowns like this guy have said way worse to me in retaliation of my threads and nothing's happened. So it's it's rather evident that they're not banning people because of their behavior. They're banning people that don't serve their needs. Okay? That is just like, that just blows my fucking mind. <laughs> now, here's the icing on the cake right here. This fucking guy, who I actually said was a decent moderator, and I now retract that statement, came in to the post, the recent post that I put up after I got pissed off, and he said, the game is in early access, meaning it's an early stage of the game. Progress will continue throughout this process, but I fear you won't be with us to enjoy it. And at that point, I received a permanent ban. <laughs> so this fucking guy came in, locked everything up again, banned me, and threatened me. And, you know, for a while there, I was like, well, you know, I can't really get too upset with SOF. I know they got Kevin over there. He's working his balls off. Russ, he's working his balls off. They're trying to get this game made. I don't want to take that out on them. But when they work for a studio that allows this kind of bullying practice to take place, this kind of censorship, this kind of beratement, this kind of fucking ridiculousness, I cannot support this game anymore, guys. I, I will not support this game. They have lost all support from me. I do not recommend you get this game. I do not recommend you spend $25 on it because let's say in the future you have a concern, something that you don't like, and you want to go on the forums and, and, and voice your opinion to be like, you know, I don't really care for the way this is. This kind of sucks. This is what you can expect if you pursue that far enough. If you become a big enough thorn in their side, so to speak, by offering your criticism and, and what you think should change or, or just the most mild kind of like negativity. That's what you can expect. And there's a video. It's a really good video that I've seen from Jimquisition. He talks about early access games and the rules that those games should follow. I'm also going to post a link in the description of that and I highly recommend you watch that video because it talks about the etiquette for early access, what you should and shouldn't do, and H Hour has violated all of it. You, you just like you cannot use early access as, as an excuse to put a game up that's not even a fucking demo. Another user on Steam pointed out that the SOCOM 2 demo had more on it, more content, and it was more finished and polished than this fucking early access abysmal release. You might be saying to yourself, oh, well, you're taking it personal. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't do that. You should be more professional than that. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. But still, do you really want to support a fucking studio that, that em employs these kind of practices? This is, this is absolutely unfucking forgivable You, you, <laughs> I can't, I can't even like fathom how they think it's okay to treat people like this, potential customers and, and. I mean, wow, man. I've supported this game for two fucking years. I backed the Kickstarter. the fir Like, the first fucking day it was up, I put down my money. I made several videos. I poured hours and hours into promoting this fucking game. And this is how I was treated. How do you think they're going to treat you? 
they're not going to treat you any fucking better. There are a couple of reasons why I might possibly get the game. Reason number one. To put the middle finger in the face of everybody who said you haven't played it, your opinion doesn't fucking matter. That's the first reason. The second reason would be to continuously keep you guys updated with developments and what's happening with the game. It's kind of something that I promise to do, and I do feel obligated to continue doing that. I'm interested to see if this game will actually grow into a good game. I don't recommend you pick it up. I really don't. If it wasn't for those two facts, three facts rather, but most importantly, to keep people informed about the game and, and the state of the game, I wouldn't be picking it up at all. Maybe you could throw those aside if the game came out and it was, you know, everybody's like, oh, this is definitely the next SOCOM. This game is amaze balls. Maybe then. But actually, there's one more thing I wanted to point out. Before I close the video, I was about to hit that produce and share button, but wait, wait one second. Allow me one more moment, if you would, to point out the reason why I was banned. Harassment. Never fucking harassed anybody, ever. If anything, they were harassing me. Every time I posted something, they wouldn't shut the fuck up. Slander. What did I slander? I slandered the game? That's called having a fucking opinion. Defamation. Defamation. Look that one up. That's a big word, defamation. I thought that was defecation at first because I was shitting all over the game. <laughs> but I wasn't shitting all over the game. I am now. I was being civil. Defamation, what that means is I was damaging the name of their product. I was, in other words, offering my opinion. Calling out users. What the fuck is that? Calling somebody out on their bullshit, saying that what they're doing is fucking ridiculous, it's bullshit, it's biased, it's one-sided. Openly arguing with moderators. That one's my favorite. I love that one. You know what that one means? You're not supposed to question authority. If you ain't nostalgia, you're supposed to just go, Okay, Mr. Moderator, I'm so sorry. You're right and I'm wrong. How dare I have my own opinion? Fuck me, right? <laughs> no. Everything on this fucking ban reason is bullshit. And I'm half tempted if I gave a fuck enough anyway, to contact a Steam moderator to take a look at the evidence here and the reason for my being banned. And I'm pretty sure they'd say, yeah, that's bullshit, but I don't know. You can see it's bullshit. I can see it's bullshit. The people that come in and read everything that I said, if they give a fuck enough to anyway, will see that the reason I was banned was bullshit. These reasons won't be up for them to see, but they'll see, wow, this guy didn't deserve to be banned. What the fuck? All he's doing is he's trying to help the game. He's trying to fucking, you know, tell them, hey, lower the price so more people buy it. Hey, don't fucking hype it up. That's not a good thing to do. But it is what it is, and you know what? As of right now, SOF Studios, you can go fuck yourself. Thank you very much for watching. I'm EQA Nostalgia, and I'll see you in my next video.